Hi, I'm Espen Kraft and welcome to my studio. In today's episode, I'm gonna take a look at Italo Disco, Ragira, Scotch, Dan Harrow, Ryan Paris, the list goes on. Italo Disco is one of my favorite genres of the 80s. So, let's go over the parts and the structure of the song I'm going to make. We'll take a look at the synths, samplers and drum machines I use for the song. Stay tuned! So, what do we need then to make Italo Disco? Well, first of all we need Octave Bass, one of the key signatures of Italo Disco. I'm going to use the Korg W8000 to make this octave bass. That was a unison mode. Not so fat when not in unison mode. So we have the key octave bass sound going there. The W8000 has an arpeggio mode. But the MIDI sync can sometimes be a little glitchy, so I'm not going to use it on this track. I'm going to play it manually. We have the drums. The drums is um, my own special custom drum kit. Uh, I've assembled something on the EMU ESI 4000 sampler and it's all been triggered from the TR626 from Roland and uh, I've uh, placed my drums on the pads here as you can hear, some kicks hi-hat, another kick with a crash a snare with the reverb on it already that's the snare drum I'm going to use in this track. Both the kick and snare you hear now is on the track. Another snare. Yet another snare. Some claps. And then 19, 19, 19. Cowbell, mandatory. Another snare. Some claps and snares again. And some toms. All of these drums, not all of them, but most of them are pre-processed. I'm actually thinking of releasing those samples, if there's enough interest. Okay, moving on, the DX7 Polysynth. That's the intro of the song. We have the chords F minor, B flat and C minor. And uh, I often refer to the B flat as B, so uh, you have to excuse my uh, error there. I'm going to use that sound later too for the verse, as you can see in the performance later on. The sequencer will play this during the performance. This is one of the sounds I'm releasing for this uh, episode as a SysX download. Okay, the JX8P with the pad or the string. The structure is uh, like you saw on the um, DX7, it's the F minor, B, C minor for uh, many parts of the song. And I'm using a uh, pretty standard pad string sound from the GX. So it's the uh, F minor, B, C minor structure. I'm going to add a little variation here, going through the E flat and back to the C minor. And then we go down towards an end of the part. But we end on C minor again. The verse is pretty much the same, it's an uh, A flat, you keep the bass and going down to G minor and C minor. And the 
same variation with the E flat back to C minor and the same down spiraling towards the end and the C minor. The C minor. going to need something interesting to play as a hook um, on the second part of the intro and we use the um, Alpha Juno with a bell type sound and it sounds something like this. I'm playing this part live in the performance as well as the uh, strings and some brass on the uh, Juno 6 on top. Actually, I'm some notes off here from what you're gonna hear in the performance later. And all things together, it sounds something like this. There you could hear the polysynth from the DX7 on the uh, A-flat part of the verse. So uh, we have to program something into the Roland MC50 sequencer because I'm not an octopus. I have only two hands and uh, something has to be pre-recorded. And we have the octave bass, that's pretty boring to play live. So that's on track two. On the track three, we have the uh, DX7. With the polysynth. And on track one, we have the Alpha Juno with the bell signature hook. I'm gonna turn that off during the live performance and play it myself. That bell sound is actually going to be duplicated by the D550 module with a type marimba sound, just to add some depth. And we have the DX again. the basis of the track. So to sum it up, here's what's going on in the track. We have the Roland GXP with the strings, we have the Alpha Juno 2 with the bells, we have a brass sound from the Juno 6, which you're going to hear any moment now, and they have the Yamaha TX802, and that's being controlled from the Mini Nova. So when I play the Mini Nova, I'm actually playing the TX802. The rest is the MC50 and the drums, of course. And here's my live performance. One take into the DAW. 